Ali Sofox, for the rules of love, paints a delightful picture on Sufi Jung. For every Sufi who dies, another is born somewhere. A Sufi is thankful not only for what he has been given, but also for all that he has been denied. Solitude is better for us, as it means being alone without feeling lonely. But eventually it is best to find a person, the person who will be your mirror. Remember, only in another person's heart can you truly see yourself and the presence of God within you. Rule number 20. Fret not where the road will take you. Instead, concentrate on the first stage. That's the hardest part and that's what you are responsible for. Once you take that stage, let everything do what it naturally does and the rest will follow. Do not go with the flow. Be the flow. Rule number 25. Hell is in the here and now. So is heaven. Quit worrying about the hell or dreaming about heaven as they are both present inside this very moment. Every time we fall in love, we ascend to heaven. Every time we hate, envy or fight someone, we tumble straight into the fires of hell. In number 37, God is meticulous clockmaker. So precise is his order that everything on earth happens in its own time. Neither a minute late nor a minute early. And for everyone without exception, the clock works accurately. For each, there is a time to love and a time to die. Rule number 22. When a true lover of God goes into a tavern, the tavern becomes his chamber of prayer. But when a wine beaver goes into the same chamber, it becomes his tavern. In everything we do, it is our hearts that makes the difference, not our outer appearances. Sufis do not judge other people on how they look or who they are. When a Sufi stares at someone, he keeps both eyes closed and instead opens a third eye, the eye that sees the inner realm. Rule number two. The path of the truth is a labor of the heart, not of hate. Make your heart your primary guide, not your mind. Meet, challenge and ultimately prevail over your naps with your heart. Knowing your ego will lead you to the knowledge of God. Rule number Submission does not mean being weak or passive. It leads to neither fatalism nor capitulation. Just the opposite. True power resides in submission, a power that comes from within. Those who submit to the divine essence of life will live in, un in unperturbed tranquility and peace, even when the whole wide world goes to turbulence after turbulence. Crafted as a metaphysician in which a reviewer reads a manuscript about Rumi and the Dervish at one hand and slowly entangles herself with the writer of manuscripts on the other, in the novel there are 40 rules listed in between the text beautifully.